All right, so we got 16 more things you still didn't know about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go to the video. Still more to share with you about the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom right, let's see. this time we're focusing a little more about facts about the depths some interesting tricks you could use and okay. some amazing mysteries behind the game's development because i thought so, i knew everything you know already truth. let's just jump right in but maybe that's just who i am players may remember from breath of the wild that there used to be a hidden liquid terrain called poison water i don't remember While this most of it was removed from breath of the wild to tears of the kingdom some patches still do exist in the sequel such as near dragon bone mire like before though, because poison water properties were removed, it doesn't actually hurt you. The Gleox oh. giant fireballs have a couple tricks you could do. Fireballs can be parried, pine cones or oil visually glitch the fireball into a tiny flame, and these fireballs can also be flat out destroyed by any cannonball shot. Ooh, wait a minute, that's actually hard. In Tears of the Kingdom, that's actually hard. Mesa, you can search for a knight's claymore, and it will point you to search below. But there isn't anything here. That's because between Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, this secret cave below was actually closed off. In the previous game, there used to be a dragon bone moblin club you could pick up. But in Tears of the Kingdom, there's supposed to be a knight's claymore, though I personally never found it. Stretch. What? Here's a Yo, trick you can tell y'all hiding stuff out on us, bro. 2.1, that's finicky but fairly easy to do, and propels you up into the sky at high speeds by oh. using the U block piece from the right leg depot in the depths, then attaching a stabilizer and clambering inside, then watching a memory as soon as you see. That's okay. That, that's up, nice. You can that's launch nice. Into the skies like a rocket. That's nice. It's all right. Man, that is fast though, I can't lie. still don't know that not only Zonai charges drop loot out of device dispensers, but also any construct horns can be used as well. Wait, you can use a horn to get free loot? Another simple one oh, is that really? the buff their attack not only when Link is wet, but also when the fused attachment is a water element, such as splash fruits, choo-choo jellies, opals, and the king's scale. Here's some simple facts about the depths. When you find muddle buds, puff shrooms, and bomb flowers, take a look above because they grow off of specific trees to match the material. Hmm, Not only are okay. little frogs attracted to eat bright blooms off the ground, but fully grown frogs enjoy a bright bloom snack too. Frogs and like likes can eat bombs in multiple ways. Man, look how big that thing is. Off of fused weapons and shields, oh my and god. Get out of your hands if you're holding it. Get over here. Look at these Statues in the depths are not just for decoration. Following their lead will guide you to connecting light roots across the depths. You can mm. see a map of them here, which shows you how they lead you from root to root. With almost okay, every that's nice. root in the depths, take a look at the direction that it's facing. Almost every single one of these gloom roots will face towards its origin, Hyrule Castle. Oh, so like it creates like like some sort of like pattern. During early oh. development of Tears of the Kingdom, producer Eiji Aonuma stated that he used the tools available to him in Breath of the Wild to inspire new ideas in the sequel. The biggest one Smart. was, of course, the base idea of Ultra Hand, piecing together parts to make vehicles, and early footage shows that they quickly slapped together pieces from shrines to create cars, tanks, and... Hey, sometimes, like, the simple way is the better way. Interesting side note with this footage, though, is that you can see remnants of old speech bubbles in the distance. If you followed our previous episodes about Breath of the Wild, you would remember that this system was called Zelda Error, a custom internal QA system Nintendo implemented to drop live notes anywhere in Hyrule to fix at a later time. Oh, okay. Two forms of it's kind of like, so it's like a marker, basically. Okay, I like that. Large Zoanite ores. But did you know that they cut out a third type, with the file name called Iron Ore N? Okay. While it officially didn't have a name, the gray and green coloration depicts it as a bundle of zoanite ingots, possibly farmed by steward constructs or mining bokoblins. Oh, Besides so this is mining bananas, away. Way out a disguised Yiga assassin. If you bring a cuckoo up to any suspicious NPC, they will panic out of fear because of the sneaky assassin. Nah, because they're ugly, that's why. <laughs> Because they're ugly, that's why they start panicking. And even the Thunder Helm. But did you know that they also react to certain vehicles? In the huh. hideout, if you purchase the Gloom Dredger or the Hover Doom Mark III, they trigger any nearby Yiga members to become jealous of your new slick ride. They mad because I got the Lamborghini? The auto build versions. They need to see the real deal. Oh, they sour because I got the Lamborghini 08. 
there are many potions and armor buffs in Tears of the Kingdom, from attack and defense boosting, protection against the elements, improved flight, and glowing in the dark. Ooh, that's nice. Oh my god, that's so sick. That Nintendo decided to remove from the final game, called Twice Jump and Emergency oh, Avoid, okay. shown as his half green and half yellow heart. While this may have been a placeholder icon or maybe a reference to the new driver stickers in Japan, we unfortunately don't quite know what these buffs exactly did, hmm. since enabling them with mods doesn't do anything. We can only guess that twice jump was either a double jump. Bro, imagine, imagine Tears of the Kingdom with mods. That would be crazy. The avoid is either an automatic dodge or speculated to be a pure Ooh. invincibility buff, which is actually an idea that they had during early development of four meat types in the first game, Breath of the Wild. Dang. And there you go. Tears of the Kingdom that's will continue to survive it? for years to come. So you know, we'll. Well, that was 16 things we didn't know about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. See you guys later for next time. I'm out and.